Next, the magician will demonstrate a card trick with a dangerous twist. We want you to know up front, this is not something you want to attempt at home. His assistant will act as a volunteer. The magician begins with an ordinary deck of playing cards. He fans them, then shows them to his beautiful volunteer. Next, he invites her to pick a card at random and write a name across the face. I would have asked her to write her phone number. Wow, nice penmanship. The magician takes the card and does some scribbling of his own, drawing a line beneath the name. He shows it to the girl. And now he begins to shuffle the cards to bury her cards somewhere inside the deck. He offers the cards to her as he removes a very imposing samurai sword from its scabbard. This sword is very real very sharp and is what makes this trick so dangerous. He takes the cards from the girl and positions them in his left hand. With his right, he picks up the sword. He carefully slides the sword into his hand, balancing the deck on the blade. Watch as he counts to three and flips the cards into the air, stabbing into them. One card is impaled on the sword, wouldn't you know? There's the girl's chosen three of spades, complete with her handwriting. It's a good trick to impress the girls, but I still would have asked for a number. How did the magician find the chosen card with the razor-sharp blade of his samurai sword? Here are the secrets. He begins by showing his volunteer an ordinary deck of cards. She makes a genuinely random selection and writes a name across the face as instructed. They place it back on the deck. And the magician takes his pen and underlines the name. The first secret is that the pen contains a concealed razor blade. Cool. When he underlines the name, he's really slicing a slit in the card. There it is. Next, when he shuffles the cards, he's really using a phony shuffle that allows the chosen card to remain undisturbed on the bottom of the deck. See, there's her card. In slow motion, we can see how he's only shuffling the top cards, leaving the bottom card untouched. Next, he balances the deck on the blade of the sword. What he's really doing is sliding the sword through the slit he cut with the razor pen. He throws the cards in the air, and amazingly, the chosen card appears to have been impaled. Even in slow motion, we can see that the flurry of cards creates enough of a diversion to hide the one card that's already been speared by the sword. If we switch to another angle and freeze the picture, we can see that the card is pierced by the sword the entire time. Stabbing a card by magic is easy, once you know the secrets.